Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make cheese. We press delete, press X, we're going to add mesh circle and on, on the vertice we change 32 in 100 and we change the radius into 10, like that. We press 7 when your cursor is on the, uh, the frame, zoom out, we're going to edit mode and we select vertige. We click on one vertige by right click on the mouse. We click B and we're going to select approximately everything until we have something left like this. Going cursor still on the screen, press delete and delete vertices. Now we zoom in a little bit. We're going to add an extra point because the cheese is looking like a piece of a slice so we're going to use the control button and we choose that that, po that point over here somewhere left mouse click and we add it one point now we press down the shift button and right click on that one and press f we right click on that one shift right click on that one and press f now we have completed the slice now we're going to select everything by uh, pressing a and again A, and we selected everything. Now we're going to fill it up by pressing F, and everything is filled like this. Good. Now we want to extrude the cheese in Z direction. So we're going to press E, Z. We're going to extrude in Z direction, again Z, until on the left side, on the ne left side on the screen, you see D, a D value. I'm going to add the D value Proximity two, something like that. Okay. Now we turn over to here, and we're going to select to vertex selection. Left click on it. We left click or right click on that one. Sorry. Shift right click, and we're going to select all the edges over here. If we have done that, we use Control B. Now we move our cursor without touching anything. Uh, around. So, um, if we are over there somewhere, we roll with the middle mouse until we have enough radius. Also, the distance between these two radiuses should be minimized. Something like that, I think. So, if you look carefully, you see directly does it, that it is cheese. Don't press anything else, otherwise you will select. You have to select everything surplus. We're going to uh, the selection tool faces, click on it, and we hold down the shift button while right clicking on that one, move it aside, right clicking, hold down the shift button, right click on, the, on every piece, turn again, right click on that one, and if we selected everything, uh, this is rather nice because now we can color this. So we're going to give it a certain material, and the basic material of cheese is yellow. So the ground color is yellow, like that. The intensity should be at one. The bling bling, we don't need that. So chase don't bling, like this. Now we're going to add an extra one, the one that I have selected, which we're going to say this is orange because the layer outside layer of the cheese is normally orange. And we're going to select a nice piece of orange. Same over here. It does not shine, so put it at zero. And we're going to press assign. Now, now we, if we switch from edit mode to object mode, you will see that the outside is orange and the inside is yellow. Okay, now I wanted to uh, position. First of all, we're going to position the camera. So, cursor on the screen, press 0 on the num key, press N to come up with that menu, and we're going to click lock to camera view. And now we're going to position the cheese like we want them. It's not that important just to show you how to do it, but I think already everyone knows how to do it. This mine is positioned over there. Unlock again. You cursor on the screen, zero again, and everything is done. Now we're going to position the lamp. So we're going to select the lamp, 
we're going to bring the, the lamp in front of the cheese press 7 somewhere over here and in height somewhere over here we're going to use shift d to shift d to add another one and we're going to bring that in the center on the top later on you'll see why because i want to um, want to have my cheese a certain name so this is an uh, Play it a little higher okay it's the police that came by and uh, in, in the street uh, behind us um, now we're going to add a curve bezier and directly we go over here where we're going to say i just want it in 2d so i press 7 to be sure when your cursor is on the screen of course r to rotate and 90 degrees to be sure that it is 90 degrees now we can move around with it we position it approximately in the center like here you see, see the line approximately in the center and we're going to edit mode now you see two points this is a starting point and this is the ending point these are the lines that convert the radiuses of this point so first of all we're going to select that one be sure that they are on the same line you see move around you see they are on the same line and now you're going to the edge somewhere over there you press r and now you can rotate it we're going to rotate it that this angle is 90 degrees same on the other side move it and just somewhere over there on the point on this line rotate the angle and make a position that it is approximately 90 degrees the radius of that we can change by selecting these points and then therefore we're going to from global to normal and first of all we're going to stretch them until the center of the point the same on the on the other side and you see that these are not at the same position this means that one of them is not exactly 90 degrees so it should be that one i think so you can filter it out like that okay you select that point again and you see that this radius is not something to do with that radius so we, we scroll a little down same on the other side try to get it equal and if you think it's okay it's nice for me then we go back to object mode the line that i need over here is the line in which my text will be converted so now we're going to add the text let's we choose text we we'll bring it somewhere over here there, there. and we're going to choose center go to edit mode and you can call your cheese whatever you like mine is called amartella like that okay if this is done you go back to object mode and now you can rotate and make some displacement now before we uh, do anything with it uh, changing in uh, size um, we go to 0 0.4 it's depending how large your text will be and we're going to rotate it as, as we press r 90 and it should be okay now you can move it around with it like this and it is somewhere i'll show you somewhere above the cheese it's not that important the you see the bezier curve also now i want that text bend it like the bezier curve if you want you if you have your line like that it's not a problem your text will follow that line to do that underneath text selection you see text on curve you click on that one and you choose the bezier curve and pop everything is curved like that you see the text is bended like the text should be so this is one thing now the text is on top of the cheese and i don't want it i want it on the cheese so to do that we go to here add tools modifier and shrink wrap nearest faces 
and we lift it a little bit above it. So we're going to choose over here cheese and he's placing it on the cheese with a thickness or 0, 0, 001. Now we're going we're going to add a color and to, to add a color we choose over here material material let's say it is uh, blue cheese and we're going to choose something blue like that same thing you can let it shine that it's the name okay so I think we're approximately there in the first thing and we're going to let it render pay attention that your format is correct mine should be JPEG you Output file should be okay also. I can render it to see what is it. And the first piece of cheese is done. Uh, I'm going to add a few extras uh, in, in a second. So we come back, go to 3D, and I'm going to add some holes in it. And to do that, we're going to uh, add mesh sphere and we're going to position the sphere somewhere over here we're going to press s because this is too big we're going to scale it down and we're going to position it somewhere over here we're going to make a hole through it something like this but before you do anything now you go to smoothen it otherwise you get that little cracks on the cheese on the inside this is not nice Let's smoothen it. Okay, what we do now is we go to tools, sorry, tools, add. We have selected, we have selected the cheese, sorry, we have selected the cheese. And we add modifier boolean, where we're going to say sphere. And what we're going to do is not unite, but difference. So if you look, sorry, if you look to the wireframe, you will see that you have made all. Okay, say apply. Now we don't want to see the sphere, and you're already making cheese with holes in it, and you can make as many as you want. Sometimes you get into trouble going back because you, you can use the same sphere again. I'm going to select the sphere. I'm going to move it aside a little bit underneath, shrink it a little bit, bring it somewhere on the outside, like that. I'm going to do the same sim principle again. So add, sorry, select the cheese, add modifier, boolean, select the object sphere, say difference. And if your cheese is pumping up, popping up, sorry, there's no problem. If it is not popping up, there is something to do with that he cannot make a clean cut. So apply again. Here's gone. And so on. So you can make cheese with holes in it. Um, another thing that's probably nice is if you put uh, these holes one to another, you can, have, uh, you can make cheese where the two holes are connected something like on the inside like this no problem select the cheese add multiplier boolean select sphere difference apply sphere gone you see and now it's getting more difficult you see you get these little things and I don't like that. So we go back by using the control Z key and we're going to use the sphere just like it is. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, just pop it and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.